M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the mobile linked system described as introducing the mobile linked Bluetooth APRS TNC. With your radio, your Android phone and this TNC you have everything you need to get started with APRS all at a fraction of the cost of a dedicated APRS, APRS radio and with a better user interface than any APRS HT on the market. So a really good way to test this is to use my Bofun UV5R. I've got the APRS radio here, which is, I think they're about £450 now, the Yaesu FT5D, just to sort of send some packets to it. And in the background, we've got the mobile linked free app that's included with this system. And look how small the mobile linked device is. It's tiny and I've just charged it up. There is a, an output inputs there, that little 3.5 jack. And when you're, if you come to buy this system, I highly recommend you get the cables for the radios that you think you will need. Now I've got so many different radios there. I've got about 10 different cables. But today, this is the Bofun twin pin cable. And you can't just connect this device straight to your phone. Uh, you, there needs to be a radio in between, but you can use an app on your phone and also APRS Droid to receive everything that you're getting from these, you know, from your radio, from the packets you receive. In the UK, it's 144800. We've got my external VHF, UHF antenna connected at the moment, my collinear. So the first thing is we're going to turn this on and pair it with our app. And with your phone, I would turn off dual watch and turn the squelch right down. So just go to menu. And let's find it my wrong button. Menu, squelch is on zero. Let's find dual watch. Pretty sure it's menu, look, what number's that? TDR, is there a number? Hey, TDR and it's off, so that's off. And we've got the power on low as well. And then to put in your frequency, just go to VFO mode and type in the frequency, 144800 or 144390 USA. The app is on Android, but I think APRS Droid is on iOS Apple, so possible you could interact with that, but I haven't tried that. So let's turn on the device, just hold this down. Green light should come on there, and then we're gonna hit connect on the app. Pair TNC in Bluetooth settings. So we'll just swipe down, quite fiddly to do with that big cable in the way. And then Bluetooth here, pair new device. There it is there, TNC mobile linked, tap. Let it pair. I'm going to go pair, and then we'll go back to the app. Let's try connect again. Tap the device, and it says disconnect there. So we are now connected, and I think we saw a different color. There you are. It's flashing, flashing blue now. Okay, so the twin piece cable we're going to plug into our Bofung just here and then plug it into the mobile linked so effectively we've just made they are it's all plugged in there we've just made the Bofung a APRS radio and I think they're about a hundred pound these in the USA for this device here Let's check if the firmware needs updating. Let's go device information. And well, this is the firmware it's showing 2.5.10. And just close that. So let's hit audio output. And you see this. So I haven't changed anything. I could output volume, output twist, and output tone. Well, we've got the tone there. And we could it transmit, but we're not going to do that yet. Let's go to input settings. And at the moment, we're not getting anything here. So let's just, I'm gonna put that on two, or should I put it on one? Turn up the volume, see the volume on my both. We don't want it to go in the red. So we've got it on the yellow. Now to the input gain, we we'll auto adjust. Okay, well, I've tapped that. So we'll tap out of that. Have a look at power settings. Okay, it's battery level. Power on with USB power, power off with USB. That's another setting there. 
kiss parameters haven't changed anything there uh, modem settings again it's 1200 baud rate so i'm happy with that uh, device and save settings yeah we want to save those settings let's go to output and let's press the transmit here just we should get a noise when it tra see it's transmitting there now my radio's not received anything <laughs> Although it is showing a red transmit on the actual device. Okay, I made a small mistake. <laughs> I had the, uh, I should have had it on simplex. So now we'll go transmit and you'll see that my FT5 will receive a transmission. And that goes into transmit. So that's working exactly as we, we want it to. Stop that. So now we can get RF signals, packet signals, which are being converted into APRS by the mobile link that we can then use to interface with programs, you know, like APRS Droid. I'll show you some of the cables I've got. So we've got a Yesu single pin. They're still in bags and I've labeled them. This one says FT70, although I didn't see that that is an FT70. Two, four, that's a six pin Yesu cable. Actually, those six pins tend to work with ICOM as well. Another one here. Yeah, it looks like I've mixed up the bags. Look, so there's another Yesu single pin. I've got a Yesu double pin, ICOM double pin, UV3R. And what's this one here? Another six pin Yesu. So you can use your 817, your 857, 897, those kind of radios, your ICOMs, your ICOM 7100. So yeah, just look at the, it's a long list that you can use. I'm just checking with the website and it is the latest firmware is 2.5.10. And I have made a video installing the firmware. Another thing you do, because it's an Android system, you can actually pair this phone to your computer and you can view the whole screen, which is quite handy use Total Control or Visor. So let's switch the app to APRS Droid. It's a free download, but you do need to get your APRS number. Just Google my APRS number, and then just, if you've got a ham radio license, you'll be able to just get one virtually instantly. On the app, we're gonna hit the three dots and go to Preferences. At the top, call sign, uh, M0FXB without the SSID. SSID, we're using number seven for now, handheld. Going down connection preference and we'll go down and we'll find Bluetooth. And there it is there. It, if you haven't already selected it, you select TNC mobile linked. Going down the channel, you don't do anything. Bluetooth settings, I think we've already done that. Let's go, da, 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 APRS symbol, comments. You got, I've already put in Bo, Bofeng UV5R. So if we back out and we're gonna go send position now, you should see the Bofeng transmit, fingers crossed. And there you are. And then my FT5, did you hear that? That, was a, that wasn't that high pitch beep, it was a proper APRS transmission, but it did need the help, you know, from my, you know, from the APRS droid. Now, if we look at the APRS settings in my FT5, yeah, go to APRS and we'll look at the SSID that we chose for this. So we'll go to hold down F, APRS, go down to 23, which is call sign, select with the F, and you'll see I've chosen four. So if we go back, and it looks like my device is automatically transmitting, but look, if you see here, M0FXB-4, I've got my location wrong. So if I go F, then beacon, where is it? Then it will receive it in this list. Now, I don't know why I'm not really receiving much via the Bofeng at all. Normally it'd be quite busy on my APRS. But overall, I think you've seen everything. Go stop, then start tracking. It sent, a, it, well, it sent a, packet from the Bofeng. The radio also picked it up. And there is an app called 
WOAD that you can use on Android for wi which interfaces with WinLink. It's the usual thing where you start a session, send and receive, and you, you know, generally you create the emails first and then create a session. And whilst the session links with the whole APRS packet system, it quickly sends and receives any emails that you've got. And then you'll show up on things like APRS FI, put that into Google as well, APRS FI. And then you can find yourself on the map. So give it a go if you've got any tips for me, you can see there, M0FXB-7, so interacting with the APRS app, and then you go to the map and try and find yourself, M0FXB-7 there, and um, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, bye for now, that's uh, mobile link. Via Android, we've got WOAD, APRF Droid, and I'm sure there's many more applications as well. 7.3, all the best.